It's something we see at schools across the valley. Long lines of cars that pick up and drop off, and that can create a little tension. Today, I spoke to one parent who told me someone came right at her and her 10-year-old son in an act of road rage. Then that was intentional. Kendra Woodruff does her best to avoid the stress and chaos picking her son Connor up from school. But something happened Friday that has this single mom pretty upset. I just knew as long as I was between myself and my kiddo that we weren't safe. I knew we weren't safe. Woodruff is still trying to figure out why an angry driver came after her last Friday, just down the block from Boulder Creek Elementary School in North Phoenix. The concerned mom claims she had just picked her son up and was driving away when a man sped up behind them, swerved in front, then boxed their vehicle in. Moments later, the man reportedly jumped out, started cursing and banging on Woodruff's car. He then took his fist and smashed her side mirror in an act of road rage. I definitely was scared because he did look like he was going to do something to the car. I was just worried he was going to hurt me and my mom. These are pictures of the angry driver as he pulled away in some type of silver four-door sedan. You can't quite read the license plate. The last thing that I saw was one final swing towards the mirror. That's when I was reaching for my phone. I believe he likely saw it because after that he was running. He was back in his car and he took off. This is video in front of the school during pickup Monday afternoon. There is always a long line of cars with a lot of impatient parents. Woodruff can't recall anything out of the ordinary that happened Friday that would have prompted someone to chase her down and become violent. It was more than scary. It was alarming because for somebody to not just pull over behind us once when we were trying to let him by, but then to intentionally block us in again and come at a woman who's alone with her child with so many people around, and so many witnesses, so many children around, you can't predict somebody's state of mind. So it was, it was terrifying. Police and school officials are urging all parents and family members to have patience picking up and dropping off their kids. Sure, sometimes you're in a hurry, but everyone deserves to get home safely. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.